Ah, dang. I didn't think you'd have that synopsis ready. <laughs> I warned you. That was so fast. So fast. Okay, I got it. All right. What are we doing? Is this our intro? You better, like, do the intro stuff. I'm about to do it right now. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Vices in Caramel 30 Minutes to Kill podcast. You are listening to the Vices and Teramo show, 30 Minutes to Kill, More or Less, a horror entertainment podcast featuring horror, suspense, and psychological thrillers. You can find us on iTunes, Stitchers, Podomatic, just about anywhere. Type in V-I-C-I-S-I-N-T-E-R-I-M-O. I'm your host, Michael Mad Saxon jones with my lovely wife and co-host, Lori. Say hello, Lori. Hello. Uh, let's say hello to, uh, Kayla and uh, any other new listeners that we might have too. Hello everybody. All right. So a little bit about the show. We generally have four segments to each show, a lay to rest segment where we clear up things on previous podcasts or anything that may have been forgotten or slipped through the cracks. We have a movie review. This week's movie is the witch. Uh, garbage in, garbage out, and we'll end with a crawling chaos, which is uh, fakic. Wow. That'd be a fact or a topic. You made a new word. I did. Uh, Factic. Factoid or a topic or something we haven't talked about before on the show. At least that's what it's intended to be. Yes. Sometimes silly, sometimes serious, most always chaotic. All right, this is episode okay. 250. That's nuts. Seems like we should be celebrating that milestone. Instead, I'm just losing my voice, I think. I don't know. How do I sound? You sound okay to me, I think. Okay, well, I probably sound better than when I was munching on those nachos in the movie theater, huh? That was awful. <laughs> well. Do not eat while you're recording a podcast. And that goes for everybody out there. <laughs> I've heard some awful, awful stuff. <laughs> This is an on-the-road episode, which means it's crazy and meandering and so on. I tried to uh, edit some of those down and keep it to a uh, minimum where we try to stay on topic. But, uh, well, it's like most of our podcasts, a little bit crazy. Wow. Um, so for late to rest, uh, we're just going to jump right in here. Do you have anything to cover? Last episode was Frankenhooker. Oh, Anything to add? Yeah, it's been a little while. We've uh, we've mm -hmm. only I'm limited to recording just when we have two days off in a row, and I only have a couple of those this month it seems. So, until yeah, that job gets straightened out, it'll never get straightened. Doesn't that out. just suck? Jobs actually interfere with everyday life, don't they? Yes, they do. All right. That's why I don't have one. You've got a job. You've got several I jobs, know. as a matter of fact. Yeah. But I don't do nothing, that's for sure. Okay. But I like to do do what I do on my own time and when I say so. I see. Unfortunately, there's days where I'm very lazy and I have a lot of trouble telling myself to get to work. I do it, though. It gets done. All right. Well, let's get on with the, uh, the podcast. Anything for uh, late to rest, then? I don't think so. Let's just skip right to the show then. Since I, guess, we have a... I guess all we can say is, want a date? <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time I'm saying that. Uh, today, maybe. Yeah. All right. I'll hit you up later tonight. Well, let's get on uh, then and have that synopsis.
What went we out into this wilderness to find? Leaving our country, kindred, our father's houses. For what? For the kingdom of God. Let us pray. this family. So regardless of whatever we're in for, I'd say it was a well-edited trailer. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah? <clears throat> was it, uh, this is, of course, The Witch. Um, You're going to eat nachos while you talk? Oh, I guess that's rude. Ew. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> so anyhow. I'd be tuning out right now. <laughs> wasn't thinking um anyhow because you uh, thought it was just the two of us sitting here yeah, i did it is just the two of us here in the theater right now mm-hmm. about a week or two after the witches opened mm-hmm. um but yes the trailer made it look really was it intense editing was it the subject matter what do you think oh, made it look the subject matter okay. i guess i didn't uh <clears throat> i didn't go back to revisit the trailer before we came um, so I'm just interested to see where it goes, how good it is compared to the trailer. I remember seeing the trailer right. in the theater and thinking, <clears throat> "Well, that looks like something I want to see. Here comes people. Okay, so The Witch, obviously it's from this year because it's still in theaters. Uh, in this unsettling tale of horror set in the 17th century, a family of devout Christian homesteaders on the edge of the New England wilderness face hardships so extreme that they begin to fear the devil is lurking among them. Okay. It was an awesome trailer. Was awesome trailer. Awesome trailer. And, um, well. Here's stay, the problem. I was going to say, stay tuned. We've already talked about it, and you'll you'll yes. hear what the thoughts are uh, after that. Okay. Well, then I won't tell you what the problem is. You'll tell us in a moment. I might. I don't remember what I said. You had me in the car. I was driving, and I'm in the car, and you've got a recording device stuffed in my face, and it's crazy. All on right. The, on the road episodes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I've, I've talked to people since we've seen it, mm-hmm. and it's pretty much, uh, you know, the the number one. I was just reading the number one review on um, Netflix because you know how much I like to do that. Right. Reading the reviews on Netflix is a great way to get the general public's 
uh, opinion and attitude towards these things. Um, but they, uh, like they said, um, they said the important thing is to not plainly view this movie as a horror flick, but view it as a piece of cinema art. And he talks about it being like kind of an homage to, you know, uh, a poetic homage to classic folklore. Um, so yes, it's not a, a gripping, scary, um, in your face horror, the way the preview makes it look. Okay. It's a subtle, it's a fairy tale. It's a dark fairy tale to me. That was the feeling. Okay, well, that sums it up pretty well then. But let's hear what Maybe. we had to say right after we saw the movie. Okay. We go up to the Botanic Garden. That's true. So the witch. We're clo- <laughs> Jeez. What the... What do you have to say about that? I, um, if you I don't can, know. Okay, I will start then. Uh, we'll start with the end. Uh, the end of it, we got a title card there. That's, uh, I guess the title is the end of it. I don't know. Ending credit, what have you. But anyhow, it says that it was cobbled together. I guess cobbled is my word. Um, it was drawn from multiple sources of... Uh, Literature, fantasy, folklore, uh, fairy tales regarding witches. Yeah, but it said a lot of that, even the dialogue came from... But the dialogue came from actual transcripts and actual yeah. transcripts, actual actual accounts and actual writings. Right. Um, so I appreciated that. Um, story-wise, though, it was from multiple sources, written and directed by the same person. Um, we've talked before about that, how that can sometimes be sketchy. Yeah. Um, so anyhow, I've just thrown those things out there. What, uh, anything to say, uh, about well, the witch should, at this point? they should throw the ending out. They should throw the ending out? Okay. Yeah, they had me for, like, 90 to 95% of the movie. Okay. Um, and then I'm afraid that ending was just a killer for me. Okay. <laughs> um, excuse me. I mean, it does didn't kill the whole movie, I guess. Okay. Because it was still... Uh, it was absolutely an atmospheric piece. Where are piece. we going? You need to tell me where we're Botanic going. Botanic Garden. You do want to go up there? Now we're in the wrong... We're in the wrong place. Oh, yeah, thank you, Car. It. Thank you for having a clue. Um, I like the movie. Yeah, okay. it, absolutely a slow burn. Uh, absolutely. It was very slow and quiet. You got but it. It was good. I, I felt like I was there. I was really uncomfortable. I don't want to live there. <laughs> you know, I spent a lot of time thinking about that, which is probably too much time. Um, watching Walking Dead, watching different things, I've often said how, you know, how far are we away from darkness, literal darkness? Like a couple of doors, you go inside a building, we take light for granted, just the ability to flip a switch and turn on light. Right. How come the window opened all of a sudden? It's been open. Did you do that? No, it's been open this whole time. I did that before we went to the theater. This doesn't have electric windows in this car. No, I thought maybe your your knee hit it. It's way down there, but anyhow. But you're unrolling the window with your knee. With my mind. I didn't know. I used the devil power. Um, No, I shouldn't joke about that. That was scary in there. Yeah, Black (laughs) Phillip. Um, Don't you love goats? I do love goats. Now we know okay, why. I'm assuming, since this is an on-the-road episode and we're in the car and we're just randomly pulling... Shouting out uh, things? Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming I've already read the uh, synopsis and all that. Yes. I'm assuming that you have also. Okay. Um, is there anything you want to say about the story? I... Um, Pretty basic witch type story. Pretty much, yeah, but but, but it, it wasn't was... necessarily cohesive. Why is the and window rolled down again? You are doing it with your knee, aren't you? I never rolled it up. Oh. <laughs> so talking about misperceptions and stuff, uh, you know, one of the things I think I already know what my crawling chaos will be about this time. Oh, good. Um, yeah, it'll be about... Uh, 